So when farmers ask about populations, one of the discussions we often have is what about a one ear per plant or whether we have two ears per plant. Some farmers get excited when they see a second ear. And most of the population research would suggest that you're better off with a single ear per plant and enough plants to get to a single ear. But that's always a side question is how many ears does a corn plant produce? And so most of us are used to seeing this single ear up here. But if we start to pull some of these leaves back, we might find that we have more ears on this plant than what we normally see, what we normally expect. And so if I pull these leaves off, so all these leaves go in an alternate fashion. And so this first ear is at a node. It comes down to this particular node here. This second ear comes down to this particular node. And usually this ear, this one's small enough, is probably not gonna pollinate or do much. You do see a few silks, but probably isn't gonna add to it. Now where we get into something that most folks don't realize or recognize is as we go further down, there was an ear right here that at one point formed on this particular plant. And if we can take this down further still, so at this point we're at three years on this particular plant. If I take this down further still and if I don't pinch it with my thumb, we see that there's another ear here that was developing. You can see the, the husks on that. And down inside there, there's a real small ear that really has stopped its formation. And if I keep working on this plant, you can see right there, there the tip of um, another husk of another ear. So we'll pull that off. You can see again that ear formed down here, the husk started to form in this. And again, the uh, development has stopped early on. So we'll just keep on going down this particular plant. You can see there's a remnant of a small ear there as well. And we'll go as far as I can go on this particular plant to where I've cut it from the soil surface. And there's even one at this particular node here. So this is a node that started to send out what we refer to commonly as brace roots. But early on, it produced that particular ear. Now, what we believe happens in most cases is that when the tassel is formed, this particular ear was formed at the same time, and that sent a signal into the plant to form no more new ears and to put most of its effort and energy into producing this particular ear here. Um, and then it says the other ears, if there's enough population, enough other plants around it and such, the plant will say, well, there's no need for the other ears to form and go ahead and, and they go ahead and start stop formation of those. We're hopeful that we also end up with good pollination, which is what it looks like on this particular ear. We've got excellent pollination in here. In fact, this is one of the rare times when field corn would actually taste pretty good roasted over the fire in there. So next time somebody asks you how many ears a corn plant will produce, we counted, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on this particular plant.